You're listening to Zoom the TBT with Charge and Hayner. So, Coach Parker, that wasn't super competitive at the end. They only got 22 in the Elam. Did you guys soften up just a bit late? Yeah, well, we definitely didn't finish that one off the way we would have liked to. You know, but it's something to learn from. I think it's maybe a good thing that we can have our guys' attention moving into the next round. Definitely, definitely. Now, Tyrese, obviously, you were a TV champ with Bayheim's Army in 2011. How do you think your championship pedigree helps you mesh with this team you've joined this year? 2021. I said 2021. I said 2022. I'm sorry. That's 2011. Yeah, yeah. 2020. You're actually a champion before it even started. That's how I know about that, right? One more time. Uh, You were a champion in 2021, not 2011. (laughs) Let's get that right. So, how does your championship pedigree help this team find get that one extra step? Um, I think just trying to you know keep us focused, uh, keeping the main thing, the main thing, which is coming out playing right, playing hard, competing all the time. And doing whatever it needs to be done in the moment to win, um, whatever that is, you know, like uh, we had Nick over here come in and two big threes back to back took the game from six to twelve. He really broke the game open. I believe it was six to twelve in that moment, but he came in, hit two big shots. Keith came in, hit two big shots, and you know things like that. Everybody's gonna have their moments, so we got to stay, you know, locked into what's going on throughout the game so that we can build on that. Yeah, I think Tyrese actually is looking at my. She is actually the nice question was today. But it actually says, not just the inland ender, but those two back to back threes in the third to break open and cause a 23 11 third quarter. So, how great did it feel to help trigger a running as a pretty tough Ram Nation team to make a close game a bit of a laugh? I mean, that's, uh, uh, those, those are the moments that you just, you know, you got to be ready for. And I know these guys are ready for it. You know, just like Tyree said, everyone's going to have those moments. Everyone's going to have, you know, those shots. That, uh, Extend a lead, stop a uh, stop a run, you know all those things. So uh, it's you know all about staying ready for those moments and uh, giving guys opportunities to have those moments. So you know it's just part of the game and uh, happy to be a part of this team. Happy to uh, uh, continue to you know be ready and uh, do what I can to uh, move on to the next round. Now, Coach Parker, obviously, you've got a pretty quality team, and adding a player to the quality of Tyrese Reese, like how much does your chemistry and overall firepower help by having that guy to your left, like that great MVP of the league? I mean, I was texting him earlier this week as we were getting through training camp that, like, you know, this year I have an assistant coach and we have a coach on the floor. So that's really what he has brought to the table is, I mean, he's the loudest guy on the floor. He's constantly talking, helping guys with little nuances as far as diving to the basket when there's a, there's an opening, keeping the floor space or the pace that I'm playing with. So having Tyrese is definitely a huge help. And, um, you know, his leadership is you know, speaking uh, volumes throughout each individual player on our team. Definitely. Tyrese, well, my understanding is the last time he played freshman was in 2020 with Athens. Obviously, I got the dates wrong, so you feel prepared me if I got it wrong. No, really how how, how you, are you able to continue to perform at such a high level of TBT every summer? Obviously, you're one of the lead players in the day. Uh, how are you just able to stay hungry and close the for something? Quite honestly, man, it's all I get. <laughs> it's, it's all I have. It's all I get. So, you know, to come out, you know, for me, it's just all fun to come out and compete against some of these young guys, some of, this, some of these great young talents that's coming up, and just seeing if I can keep up with a couple of them. Um, I know the time is going to come where it's not going to be the case. So I got uh, I got to do what I can in the moment. Okay, so Coach Parker, at one point, and this is interesting, you played a kind of a micro lineup. You had two five nine yards, a two six one yards, you had German at four, basically. But you were still in the game plus five on the glass. What does that say about your team's heart? Hey, that's what we've been talking about all week. I mean, I know that that's what it says on paper is that we're small at the guard spot. Um, but, you know, we have to play strong and physical with intensity, and, you know, we're going to try and fight for every board that we can get. Now, McGlynn, obviously, you guys are playing for to, to eradicate cancer. Talk a little bit about what playing for that cause means. Uh, I mean, it's everything. You know, from the moment these guys reached out to me and uh, asked me to be part of it, you know, uh, that feeling of playing for something bigger than yourself, something that's, you know, a, a cause worth, you know, you know, fighting, uh, you know, giving everything you have on the court for, you know, that's just that extra, you know, level of motivation to, you know, go after that, you know, you know, one extra offensive rebound, one extra, you know, intangible 
uh, play that gets us one extra possession, you know, all those little things, you know, sometimes in regular seasons, you know, a, a lot of us are uh, pro-level guys. A lot, a lot of times in these, you know, long stretches, uh, you kind of, you can lose a little bit of that. You can lose a little bit of focus and you can lose a little bit of, you know, that, that passion and that heart and, you know, with TVT being, you know, such a short period of time relatively, um, you know, we can't lose that focus. And having something that important to play for is, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty easy being like, oh, I'll, I'll take that extra effort because that's that's what it's all here for. That's what it's all for. And last question is Coach Parker. Obviously, you know, rest of the wicked big wins are still five go one at a time. Tough Ram Nation team. The scores look as close as the game could have been because you had to put them away. But like TNT's next, we talked about size. We got all TBT center Keith Plant next. Uh, how are you going to deal with that? Are you going to Nick McGlynn just a, a nice bath night to rest up? Like, what's the plan to slow down Plant and that TNT team? Well, uh, fortunately, we have about 48 hours to figure that out. Um, you know, so we'll go home and, like, you know, uh, take this win, uh, rest up, um, kind of, you know, get together as coaches tonight and put something together for practice tomorrow. And hopefully whatever we come up with will help us slow down somebody like Keith Killing, but definitely a great, a great uh, center, post up player that we'll have to contend on Thursday. Hope you enjoyed listening to Zoom the TBT with Charge and Hainer. Subscribe to YouTube, follow on Twitter, and give us your money.